Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is a requested video by... One second, let me just check my phone. I have their names listed because I have a list. It's called my beauty channel list and I list every single one of your guys' requests. Now this is requested by KMarie1197 and I don't know how to say your name but it's M4RI4M01. You. Um, you requested for a full face routine, M4, war, that one, <laughs> and K. Marie requested for a full face routine and a neutral pop of color. That video will be up next, um, but here's the full face routine included uh, as a separate video. So this is my full face routine. I show you how I do my foundation, how I set my foundation, my moisturizer, all that good stuff. So thank you so much for requesting. If anybody else has any requests, please leave it down below. All my new subscribers, I love you so much. I love your feedback. You guys you guys don't even know how happy you guys have seriously made me. I love hearing from you guys so much. It's like overwhelming. Yesterday I think I had I received about 165 new subscribers just yesterday. I was so overwhelmed that I literally just wanted to film and film and film. Like ugh. It's like so motivational for you guys to leave feedback. It makes me want to do more videos. It lets me know that you guys are there and you guys are actually watching. Um, but enough rambling. Here's the video that you guys wanted to see. Please like this video if you truly do like it. Okay guys, don't mind my hair. It's air drying. Um, first things first is I spritz a little bit of Max Fix Plus all over my face. I basically double moisturize. I just like to apply this and let it set for a couple of seconds and then I go in with either one of two my Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion or Oil Free Moisturizer by Neutrogena um, today I think I'm just going to use this one I like both of them uh, this one feels a little bit less thick and I just apply this moisturizer everywhere but my eyebrows The reason I don't apply it on my eyebrows is because after if I put on my um, eyebrow powder when I do my brows right now, it'll cling to the lotion um, because I like to do my brows while the moisturizer sets in and if I do that it'll cling and it'll look really splotchy and muddy looking, the eyebrows, so I like to not put any in my eyebrows. Alright, so the brows are done. Now I'm going to put on my eye makeup, which is a tutorial all in its own. And then I'm going to come back to this video and show you how I do the rest of my face. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, alrighty then, but I guess I just choked. Alrighty then. So, to continue with the face, I'm now going to prime. I'm going to be using the Pore Professional Primer. This actually has lasted me forever. I think I've had it for like three months. This is a sample size from Sephora. You just go in there, ask for a sample size. Of course, I don't just go in there just for samples. I usually purchase something and then I ask for a couple samples, you know. And they're more than happy to. Of course, once in a while you will get someone who's a bit rude, but you know what? You just be super nice. Don't give them bad um, like feedback. Don't be a bad customer and surprisingly they treat you well. It would be nice to them even to me. I used my hand as a messy palette um, and I put on my foundation right there. And the foundation of choice I will be using is MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I am in color NC35 but I believe I am a 30 now. When I purchased this it was last summer so I was a shade darker, NC35, but usually I believe I'm an NC30. Um, I will go in with my beauty blender. It is my favorite thing of life. Foundation is nothing without this. I'm being honest. Oh, there's such a big difference between it. I also never pat the beauty blender on the actual foundation and then apply it. I apply the foundation splatting it randomly on my face like a polka dotty weird thing. And then, oh, I forgot a spot. And then I go in with the beauty blender, blend it out, and this thing works amazing. I will not be able to go to a brush. I just can't find myself 
reaching for a brush, I just have to use my beauty blender. And the best part is, my boyfriend even notices the difference in the makeup. Boys don't notice those things. At least not mine. And he notices a big difference. Whenever I do not, whenever I do not use my beauty blender, he says it doesn't look smooth. And whenever I use my beauty blender, he always says my makeup looks smooth. <laughs> Um, he notices a big difference from when I try to use a brush and when I try to use my beauty blender. So if my man will notice and compliment me on my makeup while using my beauty blender, then hell yeah, I will be using my beauty blender like every day. So I do like to put a little bit of the foundation on my lips just to mute them out from the pigmentation. Mm, okay, so on my concealer. Now I have two concealers of choice. One for highlighting purposes. This is the Glamouflage Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer Long Ass Name as F. And then I also have my MAC Studio Finish Concealer which I need another one. Like pronto. And this is an NC30. Like I said I purchased these when I was half a shade darker. So normally Ideally, I would want NC25, so it could be the coverage and the highlighting purposes. Um, I do not tend to have imperfections on my face, I'm just not acne prone, but I do have dark circles as a mofo. So, that is why I am addicted to concealer. I'm not a big, I, I'm not addicted to concealer like a lot of people I know to cover up acne spots. But I am addicted to it to cover up my dark circles. So, cover that up. And then I go in with, oh by the way, be careful with this thing. A little bit goes a super duper long way. I will show you how long it goes. You see that little dot right there? Even that I think is too much. I'm going to apply that in a dotting motion to the back of my cheekbone. Put some on the tip of my nose and also on the arch of my lip. Or the arch. Is that the arch? Cupid's bow. There we go. It's not the arch. It's Cupid's bow. Okay. So. I blend it at first with my... Do you see how much those dots made? Like... <laughs> crazy triangles. Illuminati. Just kidding. I could go down. So. That little dot went a whole long way, and there is still more on my hand. So I go in with my beauty blender, the pointed tip, and I make funny faces, because that is what you're supposed to do while you do your makeup. You're supposed to make funny faces. Just works the best that way. Then you blend it out, of course. Always pat, do not smear, girl. Pat. Smearing does nothing for you. And it looks like, if it looks like I'm being very hard on my under eyes, this thing is so soft that it just bounces right off and I'm actually not applying a lot of pressure. It's just probably because I'm going really fast that. Um, next, I set my face. Or I set my foundation. Ideally, I like to wait a couple seconds before I set it. But for now, while I wait for it to set. I will show you. This is really messed up. But you know what? I show you guys things that aren't perfectly new because I actually use my things. Not that other people don't. Some people might just be better at taking care of things, but I hit pan on my shit, girl. I hit pan. Um, so I have it in 01 transparent. As you can see, this is the old packaging. I didn't even tell you what it was. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. That's what it is. Um, as you can see by the packaging is the little jackety depth. But, um, yeah, it's fine. And then I use another fake MAC Hello Kitty Kabuki brush. The fake MAC. You can find it on eBay. <laughs> yes, I use fake MAC. Mostly, it wasn't whole, the whole MAC thing, really. It was mostly for the whole Hello Kitty. So, yeah. I just go with the Kabuki. I go with the Kabuki. Kub really? I go in with the Kabuki. And then I pat it on my face. Like so. Don't smear, just pat. Grab a little bit more, like so. And I pat in my forehead. 
and a little bit in the middle between my eyebrows a little bit on my lips and that my friend pretty much complete fit it doesn't look put together yet because I saw the contour highlight and blush and put on my blush and yeah I'll do that and I'll come back oh no that's you guys that when you hear that that's you that's the special ringtone I have for all my new subscribers anytime I get a new subscriber it makes that noise it makes me know next is this look right here the my duplicate of the be face honey makeup look that she did on Brandy. Um, it was actually what I wore in the Makeup Idol look number three, which got the most, number three, really? Number three, which got the most votes. Um, after guys, so I hope you really enjoyed that video. Stay tuned, there will be a whole bunch more. There's one coming up right after this one, so stay tuned for that if you want to see this makeup look. Um, subscribe, please, if you really like, if you want to keep seeing more videos, and like if you like the video, obviously. And yeah, comment down below any random thing you want to tell me how your day is. Tell me how your day is going so far. That is what I want to know. Or your night. Maybe it'll be up by night. Whichever one of the two. If you're watching this in the day, if you're watching in the sun, the next if you're watching this in the night, let me know how you're doing, girlfriend. Because I miss you.